Well, back here at home, another sign of a strengthening economy. A little good news for you folks now, because there's new data that shows that housing prices, at least in some cities, have not only recovered from the 2008 collapse, but in some cases, they've even reached new all-time highs. What does that say about the nation's housing market and the economy overall? Ed Butowski, managing partner of Chapwood Investments, joining me now. Ed, this is good news for folks who want to sell their home, but should they sell it right now or will it continue to increase? Yeah, I'll tell you, I don't think many people look at their houses as an asset like that. I mean, if they have to sell their house uh, or want to sell their house, this is really good news. And it's a good sign that the economy is starting to come back. It's important to note, Jamie, that the, the areas that it is, you know, doing the best are those that didn't go from, you know, boom to bust and then, you know, bust to boom again. It's those areas that have stayed, you know, really steady that aren't that affected by uh, their local economy. So uh, this is really, really good news. No question about it. For example, what areas are you seeing these? These improvements. Well, you're, you're seeing improvements everywhere, but right where I live, I mean, you know, I live in the Dallas area, uh, you know, Oklahoma City. Uh, you always, you know, are seeing really good news, especially in New York City. You see the value of the places that, you know, that you live in around are, are soaring. Uh, the West Coast is doing very well. So all of them are starting to regain, and this is a positive thing. Now, the flip side of it is the economy is uneven. I mean, you sure. know, not everybody is doing that well, and it's important for everybody to note that, you know, until we start seeing a consistency in the economy, we're not going to see everybody very happy about this, but it's a good sign. No question, you know, great way to end the year on some good news. That's oh, for we'll sure. Oh, we'll take it. And the market, the S&P also that's having right. some great numbers. But, you know, there's a lot more behind the scenes. And you say it's not yeah. what we see, but maybe what we're not looking at that really tells us how the economy is doing overall. What should we yeah, be? Valuations. Yeah. What should we be looking at? Yeah, the number one thing I look at, Jamie, there's really three things, but the number one thing that I look at is not the employment, the unemployment rate, it's the number of net new jobs that are created. And this is really important for everyone to know that when we see 200,000 net new jobs, that's a lot better than 100,000 net new jobs a month, but we need 350,000 net new jobs a month in order to get this economy going the way we need it to get going. So we're nowhere close to that. We're actually about, you know, 60% of the way there. Mm -hmm. We also need to see See that gross domestic product number okay we all have number numbness out there so everyone needs to focus on really these two main numbers the gross domestic product we need to average about four percent a month or a quarter excuse me for 12 months in a row or for throughout the a whole you know year we're not there yet either it's getting better but nowhere close to where it needs to be. And why that's relevant is that when those numbers are where we need them to be, we create enough tax revenue to offset the incredible amount of money that we spend in this country. That's why it's important. All right, well, we asked folks out there to tweet us their predictions for 2014. I love that theme. So why don't you right. go ahead, tweet Bill and I your predictions for 2014. We'll share it with folks as well. Thanks so much. Great to see you, Ed. Happy New Year. You too.